Life turning pages, night turning day. I'm tired of waiting. I gotta make it. Yo, stop playing with my name. Let's go. Let's do it on camera. Stop playing with my name. Let's I ain't go gonna right say on it. So what's no the issue? Shit, no ain't no issue. If it was an issue, you you'll feel me. I just come to let y'all know. Stop. Put some respect on my name. What's up, y'all? This really up back with another video. Yes, son. Today we got to talk about the Cleveland Cavaliers because it's kind of been a while. Even though I have been dropping some podcast videos, you get what I'm saying. But it's been a while since I've did a video just by myself. But with all that being said, though, I needed to make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. And if you already subscribed to my channel, share it to somebody who ain't subscribed because with y'all, I know I can get there. And when y'all done with that, I need to hover over to that like button and smash that too, so we can tell the YouTube algorithm to share this video with the world. But with all that being said, we got to talk about the Kobe Altman extension. We got to talk about how the Cleveland Cavaliers did YouTube. Utah Jazz. We got to talk about the Cleveland Cavaliers, but with all that being said, let's jump into it. So honestly, I kind of want to start off with how the Cleveland Cavaliers played the Utah Jazz because I think it was a lot of gems in that game that we really need to talk about. And a lot of that was that we used our size, right? The Utah Jazz was missing Whiteside. They was missing uh, Rudy Gobert. So they played small, right? They had Royce O'Neal on there. They had just got Joe Ingles, who was trying to rough up Jared Allen. You know, they had Don, of course. Um, they played small. You get what I'm saying? They played a small ball lineup. And the Cleveland Cavaliers handled it well because J.B. Bickerstaff wanted his taller talent, his more hungrier talent, to run up the court and use that size. Do not let Utah Jazz get in a situation where they can set their defense because all they was doing was as soon as Evan Mobley, Laurie Markkinen, or uh, Lamar Stevens or Jared Allen got the ball in the, in the, in the post, they would double, triple team them to force them to make a bad decision. Luckily for us, the Cleveland Cavaliers was hitting shots. They was talking. They was communicating. And they looked like a team that wanted to strive for the playoffs, which is very, very exciting when you're the Cleveland Cavaliers and Cleveland Cavalier fans because you're seeing what the Cleveland Cavaliers can do against playoff tier talent like the Utah Jazz. Yes, I know people's going to say, they didn't have Rudy. They didn't have Whiteside. They wasn't healthy. But I still take this as a huge step forward for the Cleveland Cavaliers, who's getting experience because they understand that they can beat a team like Utah. They can beat an established playoff contending team like Utah. And honestly, even if they had Rudy Gobert, I would still favor the Cavs because of our size and our how skilled our size players it is like Evan Mobley and Jared. You get what I'm saying? And I want to directly talk about Lamar Stevens because now it's looking like the gems Kobe Altman has gotten, which is going to lead to us talking about Kobe Altman extension has paid off because when you make moves or take chances on players like Lamar Stevens, who did not get drafted, and you see how he's prospering and developing in this Cleveland Cavaliers system under JB Bakerstaff, you have a tendency of understanding what he was truly seeing in that talent. You get what I'm saying? You get to really thank Kobe Altman for taking a chance on a on a Lamar Stevens because he fits. Yes, he can be streaky at times. Yes, he needs a more development. Yes, he still needs more um, reps. He still need more time to get better, right? But what we see right now, the foundation of Lamar, uh, Lamar Stevens is great. He has a good foundation. He has a good base. That's only going to get better with the chemistry of the Cleveland Cavaliers. He's a player. He's a role player that will complement us, right? Because now he gives a size if, let's say, like said he was coming back from uh, conditioning and then, you know, um, Isaac Kerr was out. But Lamar Stevens get, gave us another level that we can have another size player who has started to uh, develop that shot mechanic and got the confidence of shooting. And he tries to bully people, right? We need players like that. Yes, I feel like he need to drip, he need to develop probably uh, dribbling, you know, so if he can dribble a little bit and possibly create space for himself. But that's only going to take time. You get what I'm saying? Like the Cleveland Cavaliers probably understand that. He understands that. And like I said before, it's going to take time for him to develop the confidence more, you get what I'm saying, to truly fit the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, system. And I think it's going to happen with the Cavs, right? It's no agenda. It's just team ball. And that's why a lot of Cleveland fans is enjoying this style of play. Of course, we got to talk about Kobe Altman, right? And as well as J.B. Bickerstaff, because he also got a extension, which was well-deserved, you get what I'm saying? But right now, let's talk about Kobe, right? Because anybody that's watched my channel for a while, 
Anybody that's tuned in, took every word I said for word for word knows I have been critical of Kobe Altman, right? I have been 122,000% critical of, of, of Kobe Altman, right? And so far, especially this offseason and this season, Kobe Altman, he deserves credit for what he has been able to establish here, right? Because he's he's made moves I thought he was not going to do, and he's been patient this season, which I've been saying he's needed to, to develop that as a, as a general manager, which has led to him getting an extension because he's been patient. He's been calculated. He's been eyeing talent for our roster that makes sense for our roster for JB, right? Like he pulled the plug on Rubio. That's work. He pulled the plug on Rondo. We're going to see if it truly works, right? He's got Laurie Markin in. He picked... Uh, Lamar Stevens. He encouraged JB to possibly try Kevin Love off the bench. It's working, right? The Cleveland Cavaliers look like a playoff contending team and they're developing. They're in the right direction, right? And as Kobe Altman sees and look at the landscape of the NBA and see what player can truly help develop our young core, he's he's only going to be more deserving of the extension he got, right? Which is also why JB Bickerstaff got an extension because the talent Kobe Altman is giving him He's making it work in the system, right? Like Jared Allen and Evan Mobley. Like this team looks really, really impressive, especially when you have Laurie Markin and a power forward originally playing small forward and is decent. You get what I'm saying? Yes, he needs work as well. Like if you see my podcast, uh, me and Ant was saying, you know, um, maybe he shouldn't necessarily be small forward long term. I don't think it makes sense, but He's decent, right? He's getting us through. He's showing us what we need on the Cleveland Cavaliers. And I feel like certain players serve that purpose of showing the team what works for the team, if that makes sense, right? Like, every player is not going to be a star on the team. Let's let's be real. Not every player is going to be the best fit for that team. It's not going to work for chemistry. It's really to show the team what the potential lies in for a potential rotation. And I think Laurie Markkinen is serving his purpose. And I think Kobe Altman knows that JB knows that the team knows it. Laurie knows it. And I have to really just say, yeah, Kobe Altman, you deserve your flowers because you did your thing this season. Yes, um, this trade deadline, you're going to have to show us a little bit more just to show us how you handle that. But as of right now, I have to give you at least an A for the work you've been able to to accomplish this season. So down in the comments below, let me know how y'all feel about this. Do you think Kobe Altman needs to do more? Do you think, uh, what letter grade would you give Kobe Altman? How you feel about Lamar Stevens? How you feel about Jared? Let me know how you feel down in the comments below. That's Atlantis with that money. That money.